Hello everybody, my name is That Joe Guy, and welcome to Subnautica. Okay, well, okay, there's fire. There's fire and malfunctioning. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've got a bug right here in the system. The escape pod catches fire when exploded nearby. Fire extinguisher. Go. Fick. You all burning shit. Okay. Ooh, okay, right, uh, what have we got? Blue thing. Well, I'm comforted by marketing. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive, to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, uh, data bank in here. Okay, well, well, let's close this for now. So I have the fire extinguisher. Great. Um, nothing else in the quick slots, whatever that means. Circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Okay, well, the hull integrity is okay, which is nice. Can I get up here? Ugh. Oh goodness. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Is it just me who went to think who thought to go to the escape pods? Am I the only one that went to orientation? Oh my goodness, there's nothing. Okay, well, what's in here? Um, zero meters? Is that my area above sea level? I do not have a repair tool. There's gotta be stuff in here I can use. Fabricator. Resources, it's all great, which is not an encouraging color, probably because I don't have anything to feed into the bloody thing. Again, use repair tools. Solar power cell? Can I take that? One to three online. Okay, well, okay, so this is power then. Good. Aha, here we go. First aid kit. That is not nothing. Doesn't appear in my quick slot though, so that's interesting. A little fumbling around here. I don't think I've been officially trained on this stuff. Aha, storage container. So in my storage I have uh, distracting certain predators as opposed to calling for help. Well, our PDA certainly knows what situation we're in. Filtered water. H2O. Yup, that's grand. There's all my stuff down here, I'm guessing. And... Nutrient block. Excellent. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. Hopefully I'll be out of here by the time I get hungry. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That ship over there on the horizon, that looks, that looks salvageable. And I have this. Apply to staunch blood flow and sanitize wounds. Maybe let's stick that in the quick bar if I can. Okay, in that case, how do I... Can I get my PDA up? Let me stick that here. I just use it. Ah, oh, right, okay, I can't bind it to a quick slot like that. And there's all this stuff here for the diving. Uh, blueprints, titanium, titanium ingots. I think we're gonna have to come up with a plan here. Emergency life pod, environment protection suit, which I suspect I'm not wearing at the moment, or our ship status. Yep, cause unknown. Uh, start here. If you're reading this, then you have survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with an Al with Altera technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over. Really? Your PDA has automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system is one directive to keep you alive on a hostile alien world. If that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to the location of your remains. It features full monitoring of vital signs for timely survival advice. Thank you. 
Uh, blueprints for fabricating a range of essential survival equipment tailored to your environment. Onboard camera, microphone, and OCR technology for short range situational analysis and good for recording YouTube videos. Cross compatibility with an all Altera compliant products. Your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. All right. Uh, administer first aid if required. Well, okay. Um, how do I tell? That's my inventory, my beacon manager, my photo manager. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, minor injuries. I'm guessing this is my health. So. Apply to staunch blood flow and sanitize wounds. Makes sense. I'm up to 101 health, which is an interesting maximum. Okay, check. Take inventory of available available materials and supplies and decide on rations. Okay, so this is my hunger down here. Correct. Take inventory. And we already know that I've got some flares, some filtered water, some nutrient blocks, which is food plus 75. Um... Not amazing, but not nothing. Uh, survey the environment for threats and resources. Okay. Hmm. Can I escape it down here? Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Huh, well, it's a w whole wonderful world down here, isn't it? What did it say? Survey it for uh, uh, threats and resources. Well, I see, I see an entire alien planet, and that thing, which is all very colourful. So, in terms of art, my resources are high. That over there, which looks strange, a whole load of noises. Let's see if we can. Hold up, 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 up. I run out of air for goodness' sake. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well, we're good, we're good, we're good. Excellent. Learn how to take a breath. Just chill, just chill, just chill. Sun's setting already. Well, I picked a picturesque place to die. Let's see if we can grab some stuff. Acid mushroom. Let's grab a few things just to survey. Writhing weed, but I don't have the capabilities to harvest that because I've got no knife or anything like that. I can just pick it. A few things around. More acid mushrooms. Well, all I can seem to pick is acid, acid mushrooms. Can I break this limestone as my HUD suggests? Copper is an essential component of Oops. all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. Plausible. Wonderful. Okay. So how do I find more of that? That thing's feeding up there. That's good. There's plenty of food around which isn't me. Your cooperation in my survival and with my HUD is much appreciated. I'm just not seeing much that I can pick up, which is... Ah. Maybe I'm better off doing this, doing this during the day. There doesn't appear to be any particular threats nearby at the moment. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with the hole in the bottom of my craft, though. Ah. Okay, well, that's fine. That's that's closed itself regardless. So now I've got acid mushrooms. Threats and resources appear to be plentiful. I just need the right tools to get at them. Construct necessary survival equipment using the life pods fabricator. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, there's some resources here. I can make a battery by out of acid mushrooms and copper ores, but I don't know what I need a battery for. Creating water, basic materials. Okay. Titanium, metal salvage. This will be a lot easier to search for during the day, I think. Can I eat this? <laughs> Acidic flesh. I already have problems with heartburn. Copper is essentially the component of all powered equipment. Your probability of yeah, okay, thank you, we got that. What I need is this. We go. Let's head up. My first meal down here. 
may as well be with a nice view. Hmm. Vital signs stabilizing. In that music to my ears. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core, sustained during planet fall. So the core's leaking? I'm no insert not my occupation here, but that doesn't sound good. Right, I think I got a plan. Okay. Well, we've had a restful five minutes sleep. We are on our way once again, and this time we have a plan. It is true that I have not yet finished writing my list. Regardless, yippee ki -yay. Right. First of all, I want to be able to try and identify limestone on site. Uh, can I pick this stuff up? Table crawl? No. Well, I know what I need. I know what I need. I need some salvage for a start. Here's hoping the local wildlife remains to be friendly, despite certain appearances to the contrary. Aha, here we go. You can pick this stuff up, right? Gotta get it fast. Hmm, an oxygen tank may be in order as well. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know I'm in trouble. Oof. Anything down here that I can grab? No, once again. Nada. I do need something. Oh, that looks strange. Giant coral tubes going right through a... Okay. I'll take your word for it that that's natural. Doesn't seem to be. And these have got to be creek vines, right? These are indeed creek vines. Ah, gotta get up. Let me get up and do a quick check. Is there a way for me to retain... Yeah, just don't go out of the water like crazy. Uh, blueprints. I need a knife to start harvesting half of this stuff. That's silicon rubber and titanium. Well, I can't get silicon rubber until I find some of the creek vine. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. I'm very happy for it. Aha, this has got to be the seed clusters, right? Yes, 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 yes. Blueprint acquired. Gotta be more. Going in a roar at me. Ah, shit. <laughs> I've attracted the ire. Oxygen. Yeah, everything wants to kill me. Ugh, ugh. Okay, well that's progress, I think. Um, I got a bit of meth salvage. And I got a bit of silicon. Which means poppity pop. In I go, in I go. I can use this, this, give me some of that. Marvels of technology and some titanium. Which apparently is important. And is it tools? Bingo. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. It's because it's survival knife. Ah, but there's other stuff as well. Um, I mean, stuff like a, like a scanner would be nice. I need some cave sulfur to get a repair tool to start repairing this stuff around. Help put out the distress beacon, and I suppose whilst I'm at it, I should grab some water. Oh, that's not a lot. That is not a lot. We gotta be careful about that. I've still got more titanium and my survival knife, so let's put that in slot two and let's get out there again. What else do I need? I need some cave sulfur. So this, at the very least, if there are bad things living in caves, this should help me. There's plenty of things I can get for food. Could this happen to be just be cave sulfur? That's quartz, which is something. 
These don't look too threatening. Lovely. Well. Oh hell. Ah! That's less than good. And I'm running out of oxygen. Shit. Shit. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. But I'm drowning. I'm going to drown. Okay, losing health, losing health, losing health, losing health. Oh no! Damn it! Ugh. Oh god, I got there, but I lost some stuff. So some creep vine, and I've got my survival knife. Okay, that was dumb. I gotta keep a better eye on that. But onwards we go. And a little, a little setback like death dissuade us. And I know there are sulfur deposits down there, whatever those gas freaking things were. It's, it's titanium. I must have lost that on the way up. Whoa. I must have just be it's defending itself. Don't we get too close to that or suffocate question mark? Let's go up and So can I? Yes. Ah. That's how you do it. Let's get up. Get up. Breathe down. Right. Man, I could have sworn there'd be another entrance into the cave system from here. I need that sulfur if I'm gonna do a repair tool. I'll tell you what would be better. I'll tell you what would be better. New fins. Brand spanking new fins. Yeah, I know you're defending yourself. I have managed to successfully salvage some cave sulfur from the mouth of this thing that blew up in my face. Ah, hell. Yeah, I know, I know. Whoa. Just inhale a mouthful of that. Get the hell out. I don't want to kill it. It doesn't want to kill me. Not really, anyway. Ah, there we go. Phew. Okay, we're making progress here. Fabricator, more fabrications. I'm pretty sure now, what's this? It's a waterproof locker. Oh, that's handy. I need this. See, now indeed, we are talking. So what's this? It's a damaged radio. Well, repair station. Absolutely what we need. Radio. This is a warrior. The stress signal was served. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in the nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Good. Yeah, I guess no dice. All this did was broadcast a short-range signal which the bloody Aurora picked up, and nobody's answering from there. Not with the radiation the way it is. An advantage of losing consciousness in the middle of the water, apparently my salt filtration gills have kicked in. And I'm now, I was now at full thirst, which is nice. Damage secondary systems. I think I've got enough to repair this as well. Well, that is handy. Aha! <laughs> Damn straight. I guess that's it. It's, I am in a fully functional life pod once again. And this keeps giving me this stuff, which is great. Um, just take it. You only get one every now and then. Container. You know. 
despite dying, things are going okay. Ah, oh, well, I'll need to have a think. If the aura crashed, I'll be here a little while, I guess. <laughs> so in our next go, or as you might say, in the next episode, we'll see what the plan is. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.